What is up guys, I hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to another Awaken video. So we have just wrapped up week 3 of the Elite Only account and we are moving along pretty well. Oh, I better turn that off. So, we made some decent progress this week despite being a little bit busy. And we've made it up to level 19 as you can see here on the main page. We've got a decent stockpile of energy though I've been burning through this for a very important reason. And then the new magic pass just started, which we've basically done nothing in so far. So got a little bit of jelly there, but nothing too exciting. Whole new set of challenges that we should be having a little easier time getting through now. So that is pretty cool. And the big thing I've done this week is I finally got my first six star. I saved up the food that you saw me during last week's. I was able to make the push to get one more and farm enough jelly to do it. So we are now rocking a level 60 six star Raji and he is even better than he was before and it's going quite well. We also brought up Raven, brought her up to four star. She's doing pretty good building into a little crit rate just to see if we can start getting some another decent damage dealer to support Zachary since he's mainly the only damage I have right now. But we've got kind of these top eight here are the ones I'm working on with Evelyn and Connor kind of falling on the wayside for the moment. But these, uh, these six up here are going to be my main ones for the moment, followed by these two. And then maybe as I start wanting to get better rewards from Arena, I might work on Joseph a little more because he's a really good support. And then possibly Valak for poisoning in the uh, Queen of Tides dungeon. But those are kind of where... That's kind of where I'm at with my champions at the moment. And then in here, we were able to clear a little bit more in the Magic Pass. I was able to get to the floor 20 in Void Tower fairly easily. I suspect that, especially now with Raji being level 60, I could probably clear up to 30 or 40 without too much trouble. That It takes a while for the Void Tower to get real challenging, so if, in case there's another one for the Void Tower in here somewhere, I should be able to get there pretty easily. But right now, I just need to clear Chapter 7, which is kind of the next task I'm going to be working on now that I do have my first 6 star. For the last little while, I have been, over the week, I've been working on getting through more of the hard campaign which I want to say I cleared up chapter 5. I want to say I was at the end of chapter 4 last week, so we finished that, and I have completed 5, and now we are moving on to 6, and then once I do that, I'm going to have to go back into normal difficulty and clear 7 and move forward from there, just because we're basically caught up in the hard campaign. But I've been doing that so that I can start getting more of the blue rarity glyphs, because I'm trying to fill these out, which as you can see, we've kind of been working on a little bit here. That's kind of... The other main development thing I need to do is start getting a, a horde and stockpile of all these glyphs so that I can get some more basic stats on these champions and that'll help quite a bit. And over in the dungeons here we got our Bane Wraith up to level 6 now and as you can see we still have our Wrathful Flood at 7. And as I said before, I'm trying to clear them but I don't really need the high ends of them, only needing the elite rarity of the gems for upgrading. But I'm still going to get through them, be a fun challenge. So we're working on that, getting pretty good there. And then over in the Arcane Dominator, I moved Roaring Tulpa up to Stage 6. And Queen of Tides, we are still a little bit stuck at Stage 7. Uh, most, the rest of my champions end up falling during the waves, and that only leaves Raji. And he gets pretty far in this fight, but he can't quite clear himself, despite having pretty decent health and a really good kit. So he'll definitely need some more support to start clearing 7 and above. But we're slowly getting there, and that's going to be the... Uh, the main focus for now after clearing more of the campaign is I'm going to work on a bit of a team to help support him through Queen of Tides because there's definitely really good items in here to get and they're going to help me build more damage dealers to help with more areas of the game. So that's kind of my main focus at the moment. Clear more campaign, build a better team for Queen of Tides, power through, get more gear, and then carry that on into the rest of everything and you know just start clearing a lot of the game. And then our Armored Incursion runs, despite still being very underwhelming, though I am still an early account, it's improving. I want to say I was getting anywhere from six to 10-ish thousand in the last week or so, and now I'm hitting for about 12 to 13, give or take. I want to say yesterday's was 13, but I did manual it, and this one was on auto. But it's going pretty well. I still don't have a, you know, a full team to do very well in Armored Incursion, but it is still good to get your rewards from it just because it's basically free. It doesn't take very long, and you, despite not getting very far, you can still get decent things out of it. So I'm still doing those every day and slowly improving on it, and that's 
another area that Raji really shines in. And then the gear enhancement event is going on, which I started working on today. And we've cleared the first two tiers. As you can see, I'm still kind of getting the, the beginner's version of the events, which is kind of nice because it's being quite a bit easier to get what I need out of them. I'm really hoping to get the uh, four-star pumpkin and then the three four-star pumpkins because that'll help me start working towards my next six-star really easily. So that'll be a big help. So I'm hoping to get that along with the foodies and whatnot. And then once that's done, what is it here we've got? Yeah, so we'll be moving into an Arena of Glory event right after the gear enhancement. I, As I've said before in many videos, I don't really care about these that much. If any event is one I'm going to skip, it's usually the Arena one, especially on this account. So depending on what's in there, I might clear some easy Arena runs just to try and get some cheap rewards. But I'm not too worried about clearing this one out but I'll probably be just saving up energy for the energy cost event because I, I do really like those. I think they work well with playing because you can kind of just do whatever you want, spend energy, get rewards. So we'll be wrapping up this one, mostly skipping arena and then heavily focusing on the energy cost in about five days. So in next week's video, I'll be waist deep in the energy cost event. So that'll be a lot of fun, but that is about it guys. We made big progress, but it was kind of simple. And there's not a whole lot of craziness going on at the moment. I don't have a lot of fancy gear to show off or anything. I guess I could quickly go over Raji stuff. I've got a few okay pieces here. I'm looking for better sets because as you can see, at least I have a four star health percentage. But the substats are a little sad. And then same thing with this ring. Health percentage, which is what I want. Substats pretty sad. So I've got a lot of room for improvement within the gear. I've kind of just been picking the main stat that I want. And then in the highest star level and having to mostly ignore substats for now, which is why I need to really get on farming Queen of Tides and then back into Roaring Tulpa, just because there's still a lot of stats I'm missing out on because of having to use split sets and things with really bad substats. So that's the overall goal for the coming week or two. We'll see how much we're able to get through it, but things are looking up and having the six star Raji is going to make a really big difference. And I look forward to seeing how far and where he's going to be able to carry me. So... It's been a lot of fun, and I'm having a really good time, and I'm hoping we can get some big progress in the gear dungeons coming up soon, and hopefully get some good drops, because that'll really uh, kickstart some decent progression. But that is about it for this time, guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you had a good time, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.